Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <coughs> you wow. okay, Rabbi? It was such an exciting Sunday that I choked on it. Ah. Today is April 11th. Welcome back after spring break. It's been break. a long spring break, a Passover break, all kinds of break. So we're done with our matzah, we're back at school, and we're back at religious school, and we're so happy to have you. That's why I'm so excited that I got choked up on my Sunday. It wasn't the matzah? I hope it wasn't the matzah. <laughs> I don't know about I, you, but I'm going to be making matzah lasagna for at least the next three weeks to use up my extra matzah. So we, A, we did not have that much extra lasagna in our house. I mean, extra matzah <laughs> in our house. Um, B... Our chickens love matzah. Really? So I have been taking a sheet out every morning because we. Uh, since Who knew Passover, they were Jewish chickens? And I have been crinkling it over the deck, and they run from the corners of the yard to have their oh. little matzah, and then they drink a lot of water. So, listen. Yep. That's funny. Ch Jewish chickens, the chickens who loved their matzah. It is a book waiting to be written. It is. It's definitely Nonetheless, a book. welcome back to religious school. We're so glad you're here. We're going to begin as we always do. We're going to rise for Hatikva, which is on page one. Page one. That's my favorite that's my page. My favorite page two. We're going to face the Degel Israel. If you could see one, the flag of Israel. If you don't see one, we're going to think of the flag of Israel in our hearts for Hatikva. Oh, Lord, Bale. everyone. Well, you may be seated. We're going to talk about Torah today, and Cantor's going to talk about the Torah today. Torah, Torah, Torah. This week's Torah portion is a double portion called Tazria Mitzora. Double portion just means that depending on the calendar year, sometimes this portion is done together, doubled, both Tazria and Mitzora, and sometimes those two things are separated, and on one week you do Tazria, and on the next week you do Mitzora. So what is this portion about? Well, your book gives you some ideas to talk about what this portion is about, but I want to give you one more thing to consider. Among the topics discussed in Tazria Mitzora is this idea of going into medical quarantine because you have some kind of affliction that could potentially spread to other people. And so in our Torah portion, we see people leave the camp, the encampment, you know, the, the settlement where people are living, and they go into a, a place of quarantine, which, you know, they don't have the word quarantine written out in Hebrew letters or anything, but that's the concept. And then after a certain period of time, in our Torah portion, the period of time is seven days, 
they get tested by the priests, and if they're no longer contagious, they can re-enter and there's the, the settlement, and there's a certain ritual that they do when it's safe for them to come back to the community. This is, sounds <laughs> certainly familiar, Cantor. I mean, it kind of jumps off the page, doesn't it? We, who have been living now for over a year in a global pandemic, understand in a very deep and uh, new way just how important it is to think about the process of re-entering back into society. And I'm sure that many clergy people and many other people will come up with rituals and ceremonies and ways of celebrating our ability to be together again when it's possible. And do you know what's so interesting also? If you weren't great after seven days, the rabbis knew that you needed another seven days, which means the real number they were looking at is the same number we've been hearing for a year, 14 oh, days. Right, because 14 is seven times two. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I think you're, to your point, Rabbi, that there's going to be different people who are going to have different levels of need and different levels of comfort in terms of getting back together, whether you've been vaccinated or not, um, et cetera, et cetera. There's all kinds of different things that will go into those decisions. And I'm sure that each of you and your families will have to talk about that. And it's a really good conversation to have with your parents and maybe your siblings if you have them or grandparents. Um, so we encourage you to um, take a little note from our Torah portion and although it's necessary to talk about like the nitty, the nitty gritty and like, are you still contagious or are you safe, you know, from the portion, it's also good to think about what in the portion is a ritual, but what we can think of as a celebration. How are we able and what's the most meaningful way for us to celebrate coming back together again when we can? All right. Well, we're going to Rise together for our call to worship. Barhu, that's on page three. Page three, that's my favorite page. There's one God, so let's turn to page four. Page four, that's my favorite page. Page four is my favorite page, too. Let's do Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu 
Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod, Shem Kevod, Machuto, Le'olam Vahed. Baruch Shem Kevod, Shem Kevod, Machuto, Le'olam Vahed. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Beautiful. You may be seated. We continue on page four with the Via Hafta, and I want everyone to take their finger, and I want everyone to follow along in the prayer book with the Via Hafta as the cantor reads and recites it, leads all of us in it. So move your mouths and raise your voices loud for the Via Hafta together. Via Hafta et Adonai Elohecha. Bechol levavecha, uvchol nafshecha, uvchol meodecha. Vehayu hadivarim haele, asher anochi mitzavecha, hayom alivavecha. Vishinantam levanecha. Vidi Barta Bam Vishiv Techa Bave Techa Uv Lech Techa Vaderech Uv Shoch Becha Uv Kumecha Ukshar Tam Leot Al Yadecha Vehayu Letotafot Vain Enecha Uchtav Tam Al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha. Lema antiz keruhu vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim lelo hechem. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Asher hotzeiti etchem me'eretz mitzrayim liyot lachem le'elohim. Ani Adonai Eloheichem. Adonai Eloheichem. Great job, everyone. Great job. We're going to talk now about the Midah of the Week. Shalom bayit, peace at home, peace in the house. And for me, shalom bayit means three things. One, it means taking the time and opportunity while you are living at home with your family, the ones who know you the best, to tell them that you love them and that they are important to you. Two, shalom bayit means to me that you have to remember that you always can't be the most important person in your house. It means that everyone in your house has to have an opportunity to be the most important person. And that means that everyone in your house also has to take a turn at being the not most important person. And number three, shalom bayit means to me spending time together. That is choosing something to do with your family. Remember, your family and your home is not just a place where you live and not just people who feed you and drive you and by you, they are important people in your life. So show them it by doing activities with them, even if you may rather be by yourself or with your friends. That 
בשלום בית תמי. Speaking of me, our Hebrew word of the week uh-huh. is who. And how do you say who in Hebrew, Cantor? Just for clarity, who is the English word here? How, what did I say? No, you said it correctly. I'm just saying it because a previous week's Hebrew word was who. But this is the English word who. Who. And the like, he- knock, knock. Who's, who's there? there? And the Hebrew for that is me. Me. So, who, how do you ask, who? You say, me. Me? So, to help us remember that, <laughs> we say, who, who? Me? me? I know that no one have ever said that before, like, who stole did the you cookies? do that? Who, who me? me? Well... Yes, you. No, not me. Couldn't be. Then who? who? Then who? Yeah. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, our Hebrew word of the week is in English, who. And yes. how do you say who in Hebrew, Cantor? Me. And how do you say me in English, Cantor? Who. And Cantor stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Who, me? Couldn't be. Then who? Maybe it was you. It certainly wasn't me, which means who in English. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Ouch. That was a good one. Anyway, how do you say who in English? How do you say who in Hebrew? (laughs) Me. Me. How do you say me in English? Who. That's it. I'll never be the same again. (laughs) Okay. So we're going to... Um, do our closing song now. Page 13. Page 13. And our closing song is... Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. How appropriate, Shalom. Od shalom. Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Shalom Aleinu Be'akulam Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu Be'akulam Shalom Aleinu Be'akulam Shalom Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday.